I sell records, but I, I sell enough to still be here, but I love to buy. That's my game. I love, I'm, I'm, that's me at my best. Here, let's do this. It's a disaster. You know, best record shop or whatever they say in, in America, forget it, it's not true. This is a landfill, not a record shop. Landfill. In other words, this is not, you can't even get in here, so why would I even be in the same category as a record shop? However, I do, this is records. I heard this record, Don't Be Cruel by Elvis Presley, when I was 12 years old and I went nuts. I, you know, I kept listening to it for, I just, I don't know what it was, but it just hypnotized me or mesmerized me or something. So I said, I gotta get a place where I can put it all in one room. So that's where this place comes from. care about school or job or anything else all I wanted was that music all groups all groups mostly black so if it ended in S I bought it you know and if we get home it could be garbage you know but and it probably was most of it but we every once in a while find something oh my god listen to this so that's how all this started with me I've worked my whole life I'm 70 77 years old I started buying records when I was 12, and I got nuts when I was 18. So 18, put that on paper, and I never stopped. Okay. If you want something nobody ever heard of, and you see the signs, do not enter, and keep moving, and don't bother, and all that crap, guess what? That brings people in here. I got so much stuff in here, we, it finally happened. I can't find it anymore. I spend half my day looking for a stupid record that I know I got. I saw it yesterday. Yesterday's a week ago. You know, they always say five. I tell somebody three, they say four. I say I got four, they got five. You know, it's always, I don't care. I, don't, I ain't counting nothing. I didn't do this to make money. I did this to collect records. I got the best collection of what I love in the world. That part is true.